We can use VAT statements in Business Central to calculate the VAT payable to tax authorities. We define the VAT statement using the accounts from the chart of accounts and entries from the VAT entries as parameters. Typically, we would set up our VAT statement in the beginning as we set up the company in Business Central, and this is usually done using a guideline based on requirements by tax authorities. Once this is done, we can look at previewing and printing our VAT statement. So to create our VAT statement, we must first create our VAT statement template. If we search for the VAT sta statement template page, first of all, we can select new from the ribbon at the top, uh, enter a unique name and a short description. You can see I have a couple set up already. Um, from here, we can now assign statements to the template. So if we go to more options, navigate, and template statement names. You can see there's a default one set up for this one in particular, and you can set up any new ones as you see fit. With this setup, we should now be able to get to the VAT statement from the VAT statement page. So if we come out of this and go to VAT statements, we give it an option of which template we wish to use. We use this one for the time being, and we have our VAT statement open for the time being. If we're required to report VAT differently to different authorities, then it's important to create more than one VAT statement so we can keep on top of our submissions. If we have multiple VAT statements to a single template, we can switch to them from the name area at the top here. If we just drill down, we're given uh, options to select from. And if we need to, we can also create new functions here. When Business Central posts a VAT transaction, VAT amounts on the GL accounts are processed based on their setup in the VAT posting setup. VAT entries are created after this. We can calculate the VAT settlement for a specific period from the VAT statement using the function available here under process. This is the calculate and post VAT settlement. Each line in the VAT statement represents a filter on the GL or VAT entry table. The fields available to us are the name, as we saw earlier. We use this to switch between different VAT statement names for different setups under the same template. We can create new statement names from there as well. We have the description field. If we're looking at the lines now, the description of the VAT statement line is what's populated here. It's best to use the description the Customs and Tax Authority supplies to you in their statement form. We have our box number, which is used for uh, making tax digital purposes. We can specify our box numbers when we go to do our VAT returns, and the HMRC will use those to identify specific values for specific purposes. We have the type field, which tells us what this VAT statement line includes. Our options available are account totaling, if we're totaling by GL account entries, then we'll use this option. When selected, the account totaling field, which we can see just after it here, must be filled in with the GL account or the account range to total. We have our VAT entry totaling. If we're totaling by VAT entry, then we'll use this option. When used, we must fill in the general posting type, the VAT business posting group, the VAT product posting group, and the amount type. The row totaling option is used to total other rows within this VAT statement. When selected, the row totaling field that we see just over here uh, must be filled in to specify which rows in particular will be totaled. And there's the option for description, which is used only if the line is used to specify static text or symbols like a dotted line. The amount type field, if we come across over to here, if VAT entry totaling is selected in the type field, as we just mentioned, we can use this to specify whether the totaling of VAT entries will use VAT amounts or the amounts on which the VAT is based. Our options here are blank, where no amount is totaled. Amount which means that the VAT amount in the selected VAT entries is totaled in the row base where the base amount that is used to calculate VAT in the selected VAT entries is totaled in the row. We have unrealized amount where the unrealized VAT amount is in the selected VAT entries is totaled in the row and unrealized base where the unrealized base amount that is used to calculate the unrealized VAT in the selected VAT entries is totaled in the row. We also have our calculate with field 
This is used to tell Business Central whether it should reverse the signs of VAT entries when it is calculated. The options here are sign, which uses the sign of the VAT entry, and opposite sign, which uses the opposite sign of that VAT entry. We also have the print field, which when selected, this the, the row that this field is ticked on is printed on the VAT statement. And we have print with, which will instruct Business Central on whether the calculated amounts should be printed as their original sign or if it should be reversed. The options here are the same as the calculate with field. And the final field we have here is the new page field, which when selected, a new page begins immediately after this specific row is printed on the VAT statement. 